catfish are the easiest and cheapest fish to catch. And I'm gonna prove it to you. You don't need all the fancy gear. You are gonna need a few basic necessities. Number one, get you some circle hooks. You can normally get a pack of four for about three or four dollars. Size the hook to the size of the fish you wanna catch. If you've ever re-spooled a reel, then you most likely have some extra line laying around. If you don't have any extra line, run to the dollar store and get you some string. Yeah, it works, y'all, it works. Tie your hook to your string and you got your rig. Now you're gonna need bait and get you some chicken. I bought this pack for $3.86. You can use chicken thighs, chicken drumsticks, chicken breasts, chicken tenders, chicken gizzards, chicken hearts, chicken feet. I don't, catfish eat damn near anything you throw in the water. Or you can get you some head on shrimp. This is normally about three to $4 a pound. A pound of shrimp is an entire bag and it will last you a good part of a day. Or you can get some Wonder Bread and catch you a carp. So I'm gonna go ahead and rig up some baits, teach y'all how to catch some fish on the cheap. Nice glob of chicken on a circle hook. I'm just gonna tie off to this stick over here. So that's tied up. We just got a bunch of slack line over here. Here's our chicken. And to the moon, y'all, to the moon. Okay, let's get the other line. There we go. Nice piece of cut chicken. Cut off some string or some of your extra line. I'm gonna go ahead and unravel this. Since I have a whole bunch ready to go. We send it to the moon. All right, uh, so we got a stick here. We'll go ahead and put it in the ground. We're gonna take our little water bottle and we're just gonna put it on top of that, y'all. And you'll see this bottle spin. You'll see this bottle spin when a fish grabs it. Our other hand line right here, y'all. Yep, there we go. There we go. Got him, y'all. On the hand line. Hand line and chicken, y'all, hand line and chicken. All right, there we go, y'all. Hand line and chicken. It took me about five minutes. I probably got lucky on the time. Not a bad catfish, y'all. Probably somewhere in between the five and 10 pound range. Good cat. Right, let's let him go. There we go, y'all. The easiest and cheapest way to catch a catfish. So I'm gonna go ahead and load back up. Let's see if we get another one. All right, but since I did bring <coughs> shrimp and bread down here, I am gonna go ahead and throw out some regular lines because it'd be really silly to come with the bait and the gear and not use it. So we're just throwing out a little bread ball. I do have that on probably a one ounce pyramid weight just because there's current here. Bread balls will catch catfish, tilapia, carp, grass carp, buffalo, you name it. So if you're wondering if you can use hand lines to catch the fish with the bread balls, you absolutely can. I just didn't feel like cutting off that much line. I already got two hand lines going out. I brought my, my rods and reels because once I'm out of chicken, which my last piece of chicken's already out there, I'm gonna start cutting up that carp and see if we can't catch some bigger fish, you know? I'm gonna check this hand line because it's moved on me. God, what was that, y'all? Oh, that was a hell of a pull for a bread ball. What is it, what is it, y'all? It's a cat. I told you, I told y'all. Bread balls catch catfish. But I told you catfish eat bread balls. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and send him back, y'all. There he goes. We're waiting 
for the hand lines to go, I'm seeing a ton of these pelicans, y'all. And that means there's bait fish. So we brought the shrimp. We got a nice little piece of shrimp put onto a popping cork and we're gonna see what happens. So these are popping floats, a two pack for $6. The reason you would use these is they make noise. Oh, right away, y'all, oh, first cast. Oh, he came off, he came off. Dang, he almost, I almost had him. I almost had him. I think I need to go with a smaller hook, probably. There we go. There we go, y'all. This was on that popping cork on the shrimp. <clears throat> They're way out there. Not much going on. This guy's a nice little one. Hey, right, while I'm out here with a whole bunch of shrimp, I've gone ahead and rigged up a high low rig. <clears throat> These leaders I use, you get them for about a dollar at the sporting goods store. The double drop rigs, it is $12 for a 10 pack. And um, just put a little two ounce weight on there. That'll put the shrimp down on the bottom. Just cause I got a pound of shrimp. That's way more shrimp than I'm gonna use today. And it's very hard to keep shrimp overnight. It just gets too mushy. <laughs> Sorry, my bread ball just took a, just took a bump. We'll go check that in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and use as much shrimp as I can right now before I dig into that carp. Yeah, we got that one. We got that one, y'all. This was on the high low rig with the shrimp. Sir, got another good size. Caught this guy on the high-low rig. So we've caught him bottom fishing, we caught him surface fishing, and we've caught him using shrimp, chicken, and bread balls. Everything from the grocery store, y'all. Catfish are the easiest fish to catch, y'all. That's all I can really say about it. And that was the point of this video. It was to prove that you can catch catfish very easily, bait from the grocery store. One of the cheapest and easiest fish to catch, y'all. Oh, that's a good fight. Oh, yo. Okay, this line's going too. Oh yes, we got a carp, y'all. Yes, we got a carp here. I don't know what we got going here. Okay, are we doubling up? Are we doubling up? Got him, got him, all right, boom. Doubled up, y'all, doubled up, hell yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. I hope I got that on film, it looked like my GoPro battery died, but, and this guy is gonna go, he's gonna go in the cooler, y'all. Absolutely what I needed today. Got him. Ooh, this one's pulling drag, y'all. Where's he at? 
coming towards me now. It's coming towards me. Got him. Here. Oh. There we go, y'all. Yeah. Oh. There we go, y'all. There we go. That's probably the best one today so far. Definitely 15 pound range on the shrimp, y'all. Put up a nice little fight. This was on the popping cork, so we'll take a photo, send this guy back. The hand lines are still going out with that chicken on there. That chicken is just hours and hours old. Nothing's hitting it, so we're gonna swap out the chicken for some shrimp and see what happens, y'all. I actually changed my mind, y'all. Changed my mind. I'm gonna use this carp. Put out some carp. Here we go, nice piece of carp. America's favorite trash fish. There we go, y'all. That was on the carp. That was on the carp, y'all. Feels like a good, good bit of weight, y'all. Coming towards me now. Coming towards me. Come here. Okay, here we go. Boom. Oh, there he is, y'all. There he is on the carp. So we got this guy on that cut piece of carp. And the reason I'm still fishing with the carp is because, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you would have gone to the grocery store and bought some bread, you can catch a carp, which I did earlier today. You can use the carp as bait. Catfish definitely, definitely eat carp. All right, y'all, there we go. How to catch fish with store bob bait. Hope you like it. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I'll catch you on the next video.